For a long time, masks have been a required accessory for superheroes or people just trying to get into an eyes wide shut orgy. By the way, the secret password is, I'm here for the orgy one. Now, when the coronavirus pandemic began, the CDC said people didn't need to wear masks unless they were showing symptoms. But a couple of weeks ago, they changed their mind after realizing that if everyone wore masks in public, it could stop people from spreading the disease. Also, they ran a series of tests and realized that, damn, people are ugly. Now, this all seems reasonable enough, right? Everyone just needs to wear a mask when you're gonna be outside around other people. But apparently, it's the furthest thing from simple. In the city of Stillwater, Oklahoma, an emergency proclamation requiring the use of face masks in stores and restaurants was amended after reports employees were being verbally abused and threatened with violence for trying to enforce the order. In Miami Beach, one park is now shut down after police issued more than 7,000 warnings over the weekend to people not wearing face masks. In Michigan, a security guard was shot after a dispute with a customer over a face mask. Police are also looking for this man who wiped his nose on a clerk's shirt when he was asked why he wasn't wearing a face covering. Whoa, why are people so angry? Forget a vaccine, scientists need to start working on a chill pill. Health officials are asking for us to cover our faces to protect ourselves, and everyone's acting like they have to get spayed and neutered. And the people who don't wear masks are ruining it for everyone. Like now, they had to close down that entire park in Miami. And Miami, you know I love you. But what are you doing? Getting mad about being asked to cover your face? I've been to Miami. Nobody's looking at anybody's faces. But if we know that masks can help save lives and stop the spread of coronavirus, why are so many people refusing to wear masks when they go out in public? Well, one reason is that just honestly, they're not super comfortable. And one woman in Kentucky found a solution that totally didn't work. A Kentucky woman is going viral for the way she wears a mask. This woman was caught on camera shopping with a hole cut in the middle of her protective mask. She claims it made it, quote, easier to breathe since everyone is required to wear a mask while out. Of course, the CDC is advising that masks should cover both the nose and mouth completely. Okay, I'll I'll be honest. I get where this woman is coming from. Wearing a mask can make it a little harder to breathe, but... You know what can make it a lot harder to breathe? Coronavirus. Like, I think some people might be missing the point of the mask. It's not about conforming, it's about safety. Can you imagine if people brought this attitude to sex? Don't worry, babe, of course I used a condom. Yeah, I just ripped the top off because it was really uncomfortable for my penis and it made it look like it was robbing a bank. But we're good, we're totally safe. Now, another reason people might not be wearing a mask is maybe they just don't have one. But remember, it doesn't have to be an actual medical mask right now to be effective, right? Anything that covers your nose and mouth can help. Although I will say, one guy in San Diego got a little too creative with his coverage. Outrage is growing over a man seen wearing a Ku Klux Klan hood inside of a Vons grocery store near San Diego. Other shoppers took pictures of the man seen Saturday in the city of Santee. Store clerks reportedly asked the man to remove the hood or leave. He finally took it off while he was in line, then paid for his items and left. Santee's mayor and others have condemned the incident. Detectives from the San Diego County Sheriff's Department are now investigating and will pursue any appropriate charges. Wow, wearing a clan hood as a face mask. That seems counterproductive. Cause I mean, you might be protecting yourself from Corona, but you're definitely gonna get a case of ass whipping. And I know this guy thought he was being intimidating wearing a KKK mask in public, but I'm sorry, man, you're in a grocery store. I can't be scared of anyone buying go Plus, I like how he only wore the hood, yeah. So he was at home like, should I put the robe on as well? No, 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 no. I'm a moderate Klansman. Now, if you've been watching the protests going on around the country, it's clear that for some people, not wearing a mask is a matter of principle. Because apparently in America, you don't just have the right to bear arms, you also have the right to bear face.
In Houston, you could get a $1,000 fine for not wearing a mask. That's led to at least one lawsuit and complaints of government overreach. These mandatory masks amount to government overreach. There is now a lawsuit over face mask requirements here in Harris County. There are many people who are unhappy with the order. Close to 150 demonstrators protested the mask mandate. I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want the government telling me what to do. You cannot allow the government to overreach the Constitution. Because if, if, you, if, you, if you allow that, and then what else is next? Only God knows. Hell yeah! I'm sick of the government telling us what to do. Telling us to wear masks. You got those red lights that tell us when we can drive. Stopping me from buying romaine lettuce because it has E. coli on it. Some of us like the taste of E. coli. It's called the refined palate. You know, I'll be honest. I've never understood why some people complain so much about a nanny state. Nannies are awesome. I mean, they let you take afternoon naps. They always have a little baggie of goldfish. They let you watch TV all day while they stare at their phone. In fact, when this is over, I wanna hire a nanny for myself. I wanna eat goldfish. So the question remains, why are so many Americans resistant to wearing a mask in public? I mean, maybe it's a comfort thing. Maybe it's an aversion to taking orders. Or maybe they just wanna show off that pasty quarantine skin. Another reason might be that their leaders are leading by example, only the wrong example. The CDC is advising the use of non-medical cloth face covering as an additional voluntary public health measure. So it's voluntary, you don't have to do it. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence now says he should have worn a mask during his visit to the renowned Mayo Clinic last week. Governor Eric Holcomb is apologizing this morning after a Facebook photo shows him taking a selfie with two people and not wearing a mask. This Ohio State representative says he won't be wearing a mask because of religious reasons. Republican Representative Nino Vitale says our nation was founded on Judeo-Christian principles and one of those principles is that we are all created in the image and likeness of God, and that image is seen the most by our face. Okay. Wow. That is a bold religious stance from that lawmaker. And I don't know if going out without a mask is a way to honor God, but it's definitely a way to meet him sooner. Like, where is he even getting this from? Because I've been to Sunday school. I don't remember this being in the Ten Commandments. I don't remember Moses coming down like, and commandment number nine, thou shalt not cover all of this. So look, I don't even understand how a public health issue like wearing a mask became so politicized. But it is weird to me, it is really weird to me that so many of these people who refuse to wear masks claim to be proud patriots who would do anything for their country. Because right now, America is at war with the coronavirus. And if you're going out in public without wearing a mask, well then, you're fighting for the other side. That's our show for tonight. But before we go, please remember that the COVID pandemic has devastated communities around the world. But the International Medical Corps is helping those communities to rebuild and recover. And you can help them to help others. So please donate whatever you can. And if you'd like to support the response here in New York City specifically, then you can go to the NYC Healthcare Heroes and you can help those people who are providing care packages to our healthcare workers, hospitals, and temporary medical facilities. Until tomorrow, stay safe out there, wash your hands, and remember, delete your calendar app. You don't need it anymore.